This question also has a very clearly predictable structure that's going to just make the correct answer obvious here. So let's go to the sentence. Uh, these particle physicists, not going to bother with their names, particle physicists like these people spend much of their time blank what is invisible to the naked eye. Now this colon is telling me we're going to repeat ourselves. We're going to provide an extra explanation about what we just said. So what do they say? Using sophisticated technology, they closely examine the behavior of subatomic particles, the smallest detectable parts of matter. So they spend much of their time what? How about closely examining what is invisible to the naked eye? And what's a word that means closely examining? Inspecting. Right? It just means to look at something. So there you go. It's perfect. Um, now, some of these other words make, might make sense in, in like another context, right? If we were trying to say something else, these words wouldn't be like necessarily wrong to put in that blank. But remember, it's not just about writing a, a sentence that you like. It's about writing a sentence that matches with what they're saying. This is why it's so important to notice when the SAT is repeating itself within these questions so that you can be like, oh, here's my evidence why this is right. So. I guess you could say that they spend time selecting what is invisible to the naked eye. Maybe they're sorting through, I don't know, like microbes or something. But that's not what they're saying here. It just it, There's no evidence to back that up. Um, again, creating. It could be the sense that they're like working on like new bacteria with DNA combi combinations and stuff. But again, there's no evidence of that, so it doesn't have any match to prove it. And uh, certainly they're not deciding what is invisible to the naked eye. That is something that is just... It's either invisible or it's not, so they have no power over that. But yeah, like even still, again, there's no evidence of it. So please, please, please get in the habit of noticing the patterns that the SAT uses to repeat themselves in these choices. And the colon is a very common way to do it because the colon in real life is a way to kind of have a, the second part after the colon kind of answer or explain something that's brought up by the first part. So there's a, a repetition built into that punctuation mark, which is why it appears so frequently on these vocab questions.